Now, start this off by saying that MSI might not be the first brand you think of when you're looking for storage. Yes, MSI is renowned for their GPUs, motherboards and laptops, but storage? Well, they've just added some into their fold now, and we're looking at their first PCIe 4.0 SSD, the MSI Spatium M480 PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2. Pretty interesting, right? I'm Winston Chan from Pod.net and let's check it out! Let's start with the specifications because I do believe that it is quite interesting to most of us. We received the 1TB variant of the Spatium M480 which gives you 931GB of usable space. It touts support for PCIe 4.0 X4 interface just in case you haven't realised that from its name. You get the proven Micron 96 layer 3D TLC NAND along with 1GB of DDR4 cache with the latest Fizen E18 as the controller. This combo gives you speeds of up to 7000 megabytes per second read and 5500 megabytes per second write and a good endurance of 700 terabytes return. Now, let's get down to the unboxing. The packaging looks good, especially when you consider how uninteresting the packaging of certain SSDs we have checked out previously. The capacity and rated speeds are very clearly highlighted with a sticker at the top and you also get a nice stylized peak at the drive inside, but we'll get to that in just a bit. The back doesn't have more details about the drive, aside from mentioning the 5 year warranty period and the fact that it supports the PCIe 4.0 X4 interface, something which we have established repeatedly by now. In the box, we don't really get much else aside from the Spatium M480 itself, protected by clear plastic. There's also an installation guide, although I somewhat doubt you will need to read it to install a M.2 SSD. Now let's take a closer look at the drive itself. The Spatium M480 has some nice golden essence on its stickers, although it's quite sad that you won't get to see it on most motherboards because of the way that you will probably be putting it under heat spreader. I'm quite surprised MSI didn't park the Spatium M480 under the Mac series though, considering the use of gold essence here, that's a design language featured on the MSI's flagship MEG motherboards. As we have the 1TB version, the back of the M.2 stick does not have any chips, you do get a sticker here, but this one only tells you that you will void your warranty if you remove it. I do believe that the 2TB version will have none modules here to make up for the capacity. There's actually another version of the Spatium M480 with an actual heat sink with this gold essence, but unfortunately we didn't get to check that one out, so we can only show you an image of it right here. With that out of the way, let's talk about its performance. We use the following test system for the benchmarks featuring the Intel Core i5-11600K on the Aorus Z490 Master. We also have the GeForce RTX 3070 Ti Founders Edition graphics card and Clef Bolt XR DDR4 3600 memory, but obviously these two don't really affect the performance. Rounding off the specs, we have the Master Liquid ML240R and Cooler Master V850 Gold Power Supply mounted on the Cooler Master MF700 bench case. In crystal this mark, we have the drive pushing 7069.77 MB per second sequential read and 5438 MB per second sequential write with the 8Q def and 1 thread test. This is about right on the money of MSI's claims of 7000 MB per second read and 5500 MB per second write. At the random 4K test with 32Q def and 1 thread, we see an impressive 896 MB per second and 715 MB per second read and write respectively. We see figures of 218k IOPS and 175k IOPS when it comes to random read and write as well. Now moving on to AS SSD, we see the performance taken down a notch to 5784 MB per second read and 5157 MB per second write, but this is still really fast as compared to existing PCIe 3.0 drives we have tested. SS times are also chart topping at just 0.016 ms for read and 0.015 ms for write. As compared against the Kingston KC2500, which is the fastest PCIe 3.0 X4 SSD we have tested previously, speeds have essentially doubled when it comes to sequential write and read, while we are seeing the 64-thread 4K write performance triple. The aggregated score of 8487 in SSD is almost double with the Spatium M480 versus the Kingston KC2500, so this is definitely a performant SSD, no doubts about that. 
In IDA64, we can see that the Spatium M480 is capable of sustaining write speeds of 5.2 GB per second all the way up to the 33% mark, which indicates somewhat the SLC cache capacity running out. After that, we see some huge fluctuations before maintaining speeds at about 1 GB per second. The overall average is still 2.2 GB per second, which translates to filling up a 1TB drive in less than 24 minutes, which I do think is still pretty insane. One thing that I noted is that you should definitely slap a heatsink onto it if you plan on using it for similarly intense read or write workloads. While the shorter benchmarks didn't affect it much, the IDA64 linear write test definitely made it quite toasty, hitting 52 degrees Celsius even with the motherboard's M.2 heat spreader slapped onto it. It can quite easily throttle without one if you try to do the test without a heatsink. However, if you only plan on using it as your system drive or game storage, it should be able to perform pretty well even without a heatsink. Now, speaking of using it as a game storage, the Spatium M480 is actually slightly slower than the Kingston KC2500 in our Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood loading time test. It comes in at 0.6 seconds slower, taking 11.496 seconds to finish loading, while the Kingston KC2500 took 10.86 seconds. Not really sure whether this is due to the game not being able to take full advantage of the PCI 4.0 storage speeds, but this is a pretty interesting thing that we noted. And I guess it is time to wrap up the review. The 1TB MSI Spatium M480 is priced at RM1175, which is on the higher side of things. It is really fast, but when you consider that you're paying 1 ringgit and 17.5 cent per gigabyte, it is really quite costly. That's what you would expect to pay for an SSD from 2 or 3 years ago and not in 2021. I personally still think that PCIe 4.0 SSDs aren't quite necessary yet, but hey, there's no such thing as overkill and you can also get the Spatium M480 for your PS5 storage upgrade as it easily exceeds the 5500MB per second speed requirement. To sum up, the MSI Spatium M480 is capable of great performance and also sustaining it throughout our torturous linear write test. PCIe 4.0 support also means that you can use it for your PC or PS5, which is a great option to have. The 700TB written endurance is also slightly higher than most 1TB SSDs in the market, which generally hover at around 600TB written. Unfortunately, the drive can get quite toasty when under load without heatsink, and the cost is also quite prohibitive, at least for a value seeker like myself. Still, I would like to mention that its price is pretty much in line with other PCIe 4.0 storage options in the market, so if you're looking for one to upgrade your PC or PS5 with, the Spatium M480 is a pretty good option. And that's it for our review of the Spatium M480. What do you think of PCIe 4.0 storage? Have you upgraded to one, or do you plan on upgrading soon? Let us know down in the comments down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more content like this. I'm Vincent Chan from Porter.net and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!